Uh, and this was brought home a few years ago at the law school. We had the unfortunate situation of having admitted a class with a large number of black women, but only one black man. Not good. That's a whole. That's another story, right? It's like, okay, there's a problem there with on the black men's side, right? We had a, admitted a class with a large number of black women, only one black man. The problem was that all the black women in the class insisted that there was no black man in the class. They had looked through the book. They looked at their classmates. They said, there's no black man in the class. At the time when I applied to Stanford, in the, in the, well, even before then, I, I, that was class of 87, came in in 83. Um, at that time, most of the uh, beneficiaries of affirmative action were kids who were like me in other ways, frankly. Um, they were kids who were like me in, in, a, in, a, in another way, which is that you know our families actually had uh, borne um, the burden of all those horrible things, right? We like to celebrate now that are behind us uh, in American society. Uh, my mother's. Uh, and father's family both fled um, the South. Uh, and we can tell that as a really positive story about immigrating for jobs, or we can tell that as a more negative story uh, about fleeing white oppression and terror, uh, where people could be uh, brutalized, murdered with impunity um, because they made the wrong move, did the wrong thing. The wrong thing that my uncle did, in fact, uh, which led to my father's entire family coming North, was that he had the boldness to one day uh, in Atlanta, in Georgia, outside of Atlanta, he wore a new suit into town. Literally, a new suit into town, which for some reason people did not like. By the next morning, they were on their way north. And that's the, those are the sort of stories, right, that led black people to, to leave the South. Um, those are the source of histories, right, out of which people were emerging. But when you look at universities now, um, you know, those folks are much less well represented than they used to be, right? We've had an extraordinary amount of immigration to our society, um, immigrants from all different areas. Uh, we've had lots of immigration from Africa, from the Caribbean, uh, and this is reflected uh, in the composition of student bodies. Uh, if you look at the African American population as a whole, you know, immigrants are, you know, 10, 12, 13, 15 percent of the population. Uh, they're substantially more when you look at the percentage in college. Uh, when we look at uh, public universities, uh, immigrants are about 23 percent of the black student population. When you look at private universities, about 28 percent. The numbers go up. You look at the most selective uh, universities, about 35 percent. You look at Ivy League universities, uh, immigrants are about 40 percent. So these are numbers that are way out of whack with the overall population. Uh, and then finally, my final concern about the beneficiary group relates just to the issue of administrability, um, which is that, it, again, in 1960, 1970, 1980, it was sort of easy to figure out, uh, you know, who was who was who was a member of the beneficiary group. Um, now it's not so easy, uh, and this was brought home a few years ago at the law school. We had the unfortunate situation of having admitted a class with a large number of black women, but only one black man. It's not good. That's a whole. That's another story, right? It's like, okay, there's a problem there with on the black men's side, right? We had a, admitted a class with a large number of black women, only one black man. The problem was that all the black women in the class insisted that there was no black man in the class. They had looked through the book. They looked at their classmates. They said, "There's no black man in the class," and the dean of admissions said, "Yes, there is." The problem was she couldn't tell you who it was. I'm not making this up, right? She couldn't tell you who it was. There's a privacy issue there. Right? But they were admitted, right, as a black student.